ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme video for Thursday, the 24th day of January. Arctic air will be moving into Alabama today, so cold weather headlines are forecast. Let's take a peek at our Skycam network early this morning. Still cloudy across the area. We're looking down over the lights of the city of Gadsden, and temperatures are really in the upper 30s now, and what we think will happen, they'll fall a bit and just stabilize in the 30s. We'll stay there all day today. Up in uh, Coleman, not too many folks out there on Highway 278. That's just east of downtown Coleman. And Mount Sheehaw in the clouds. Looking across the uh, street there at the lodge from Sheehaw State Park. There's the uh, big picture this morning. Cold trough diving down from the north, delivering Arctic air. And the active southern stream is kind of laid out across the deep south. And, you know, sometimes that can mean winter weather issues, but uh, not today. Cold is the story. You talk about cold, it looks like our friends up in uh, International Falls are at 20 below zero this morning. Uh, Chicago, wow, looks like they're at 14 below zero. And sub-zero readings are down into Missouri now, North Missouri. And uh, you get down to Memphis, you got 20s, Nashville in the 20s. And again, that cold air is going to be uh, blowing in here today with an increasing north wind. Now, early this morning at 5 o'clock, there's this little patch of light rain down there from well over Green and Marengo and Sumter counties. And uh, that will stay south of here today. And all of that will be shunted south as the uh, Arctic air drops in. Now, the QPF showing a little bit of rain through Monday evening of next week, but uh, the better rain would be down there in southwest Alabama near Mobile. And this is suggesting no rain for northeast Alabama, and that sounds about right to us. In fact, uh, prospects for wet weather look awfully slim now for the next five days. Uh, uh, but now Tuesday will probably get pretty wet, but between now and then we don't expect much. This is the uh, 06 ZGFS, valid at noon today at 500 millibars, about 18 to 20,000 feet up. And there's our uh, sharpening trough over the east. And at the surface, the uh, cold air moves in. Surface uh, Arctic high near Kansas City. And again, that is bone-chilling cold up there. And uh, down south, south uh, of uh, really Clanton, you've got uh, some light rain today. Kind of a, a split... Uh, pattern across the state, but we'll be in that cold air advection. We'll forecast a clearing sky with temperatures holding in the 30s. Tomorrow morning, uh, winds are light. We should go down into the upper teens. I mean, it is really cold up there. Uh, some of the colder valleys up in northeast Alabama could drop down there below 15. And you can see rain off to the uh, west. Let's see what happens with that. The latest GFS continues the trend of keeping all of that way down there over South Alabama. So we really, I think, can pretty much drop that chance of, uh, we, we got to mention now a scattered light rain south of Birmingham on Saturday. If this keeps up, we'll just drop that and uh, forecast a, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. The sun might peak out. There'll be some clouds around, no doubt about that. But really for the northern half of the state, that looks awfully dry. Sunday looks like a pretty nice day. Uh, partly to mostly sunny, and a good chance we'll do low 60s on Sunday as a warming trend begins. And then Monday of next week, our attention turns to that big trough out west, but notice we are still underneath a ridge, and accordingly Monday should be a dry and mild day. What's a deep surface low up there? One, uh, 980 millibars over North Dakota, and then Tuesday, that deep surface low moves east. It's over the UP of Michigan. The trailing cold front will trigger a band of Showers and probably some thunder with that. Uh, the air should be a somewhat unstable. Severe weather, I'd say, very unlikely. And then Wednesday of next week, that's on by. We'll cool down a little bit, but not much. There's no really Arctic air behind that. Thursday of next week, look at that thing. This is a, a week from today. Big negative tilt trough across the Plain stage. You know, if this were uh, uh, March, we'd be talking severe weather here. But that shows a very strong southerly flow and a a nice round of showers and thunderstorms there. And then a week from tomorrow on Friday, the uh, rain tapers off. Much colder air drops in. Maybe even a hint of a few flurries in the backside of that thing. So uh, uh, looks like a pretty good uh, crack at some good rain uh, Tuesday and then again Thursday and Thursday night of next week. We'll go trolling deeper into 
February. There's a look at the uh, 6th. And look at the trough out west. And at the surface, that looks awfully wet, if that's the case. So hopefully we'll pick up at least some decent rain events along the way and occasional shots of cold air. I think changeable is going to be the weather theme here for the next 16 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 this afternoon. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.